Hi everyone, this is Ramalinga Prasad Kuppa. Welcome to my channel, Pharma World. Today's topic is Audit Trail of Data. Audit Trail is a very important aspect of integrity of data. The audit link of the entire sequence of operations that lead to your decision making helps to establish the data integrity. Let us understand the requirements. Let us understand what is RE trail. The meaning of trail is to continuously link the activity down to drag along the grass root of the activity. Do not get confused with another similar word trial T R I A L. Trial means experiment or attempt. Trail means linking of calendar of events. So trail means linking the final data with the initial data point. That is the first starting point of the data generation. Subsequent transformation to next stages till it reaches the final step. Our trail is a system that traces the detailed transactions relating to any activity for a meaningful construction of the recorded data for taking a decision. Let us understand audit trail. This is a review process of data. The review process constructs the scene of activity whether the data generated is meaningful, integrate and honest and truthful for the calendar of events recorded. The audit trail traces the transactions related to the activity. During pharmaceutical manufacturing, there will be a starting point processed through several steps before the final product is ready to the distributor and finally to the customer. Transactions relating to activity starts with the first step till the data generated is evaluated for correct outcome that impacts the final decision. Let us understand this with an example. When production of a dosage form starts, the first step would be to dispense or issue the approved input materials. It is further processed for several intermediate stages. Finally, the granulated product is fed into the compression machine and compressed as tablets. At this stage, before going to the next stage of packaging, the data generated for this activity should be reviewed for correctness and authenticity. The review includes whether all processes are carried out as per approved protocol and there were no pending or unresolved issues and the output meets the requirements as expected. All these are the part of the detailed transactions. Another example could be a testing activity at QC laboratory. The analyst takes a sample, weighs a specified amount on the weighing scale, takes on to other steps of testing to get the result of say assay. The result obtained should be reviewed for correctness of all these transactions to establish compliance to the test method. All items that are required to be checked are explained in the next slide. All the activities in the manufacturing are subject to audit trail compliance. There is no activity that is out of audit trail. Many people think that audit trail is applicable only for electronic systems like HPLC or GC etc. 
where there will be a log browser to review the data. Non-electronic systems using logbooks also will have the manual audit trail requirements. Let us see. Let us understand the prescription of MHRA GXP data integrity guidance and definitions. The audit trail is a form of metadata containing information associated with actions that relate to creation, modification, or deletion of GXP records. MHRA GXP data integrity guidance and definitions. Revision 1, March 2018, defines as given here. Let us understand the intent of this requirement. We know that metadata is the data that describes the context of the main data. That means who did the activity, what was done, when was it done and why was it done. Let me explain. For example, a data is recorded with a numeric say 100 for charging into the equipment for production. How do you understand the context? If this number 100 is supported by the name of the item charged into the equipment, its unit of measure, say kilos, who weighed the material, say name of the person responsible, where was it weighed, say the identification of the weighing scale, when was it done, record the date and time of the activity, and why was it done, say for processing a designated batch of the drug product. All this subdata will help to construct the activity with a meaningful outcome. This comes under creation word, modification, deletion if required also must be reviewed for who, what, when and why. Scientific justification is a must for such activities. No external reasoning is acceptable. External reasoning means unscientific guess. The deletion of modifications cannot be done with whims and fancies. GXP is a generic word that is used for all good activities. X can be replaced with M for manufacturing L for laboratory, E for engineering, D for documentation or distribution, etc. You can have any letter replacing X. An NRE trail provides secure recording of life cycle details such as creation, addition, deletion or alterations of information in a record, either paper or electronic without obscuring or overwriting the original record. Life cycle approach means throughout the data creation process, entire calendar of events should be under audit trail process. This requirement is applicable for paper records also. This is covered in the manual audit trail process of who, what, when, and why. An audit trail facilitates the reconstruction of the history of such events relating to the record regardless of its medium, including the who, what, when, and why of the action. So, the easier way to remember audit trail is answers for all these questions who what when and why easy way to remember the concept of the r trail for electronic systems it is designed to capture all electronic files and can be retrieved by a click of the log browser there are filters for deletions modifications so that in a flash the data can be reviewed the way we like Manual audit trail is a lengthy process. 
it is necessary to maintain all the older logbooks also for any potential review it is required to record in paginated notebooks to establish traceability all the trails identified by risk assessment as required should be switched on always this is important if the audit trail function is disabled for any activity the integrity of the data is suspicious data falsification might have happened in such situations this is a bad attitude towards integrity of the data and the person in charge of the activity user should not be able to amend or switch off the audit trail where a system administrator amends or switches off the audit trail a record of the action should be retained so don't give the key to the mischievous thief make the audit trail not active to such users in case of any amendments to be carried out in the same system it should be justified through a risk assessment and justified all such details must be archived for any future review i hope the intent of audit trail is understood well in detail in a simple way check whether your system complies to these requirements to establish data integrity thanks for watching for more videos please do subscribe like and share also please leave a message in the comments box for any further support thank you